Today is Tuesday, December 5th, 2023. We are parked at the Greeley Pond Ski Trail and walking up to the Greeley Ponds Hiking Trail because they did not plow the parking lot or even the edge enough to get off up here. So it's just a little two tenths of a mile walk. And then I think we're gonna don snowshoes right away and go up and do the Osceolas today. As we drove by, it looked like nobody has been in there since the storm. So it's gonna be a challenging day going up East Osceola, breaking trail. But hey, it's a short hike, so that's good. Should be like 6.8 miles plus the road walk. So that's definitely the shortest thing we have this month still left to do. So that's our plan. Yeah, it's all socked in up there. We had some snow showers as we were driving up, but it looked really nice in the lakes region. So maybe it will clear a little bit as the day goes on. We are about a mile in and 40 minutes. So it's slow going. I don't know if you can tell. It's, it's pretty deep snow considering we're pretty much at trailhead height. It's hot work. So we're a couple tenths from the junction with I think we're a couple tenths from the junction with the Mount Tecums or Mount Osceola Trail. And that is 1.2 miles from the junction up to the summit of East, but it's over 1,200 feet of gain. So that's gonna be rough going. It always is, but it's beautiful though. The trees are really heavily laden and hopefully it won't get too windy or too warm because I prefer not to get rained on. We are climbing up perhaps the steepest part. I think it is. And John is right there. He's gonna pass me here. This area is wet normally, so it's nice that there's some snow on it. Because otherwise it would just be ice. Which also is okay. We've done it with full crampons and it was excellent. Goes. This is the spot where off to the side right there is a slab that's open. We're kind of socked in. We just had sun for a second. So John's about 20 feet ahead of me, but he's way up. Okay. Definitely need two hands here. Hopefully we'll get some views today, but if not, that's okay. This is the viewpoint out looking towards Greeley Ponds and uh, Mount Kankamagas. As you can see, nothing. This is where the trail crosses like an old slide path and then climbs steeply. Oops, there we go. So we're about two tenths from East Peak. There's another viewpoint right before you get to the summit and it looks at out towards Osceola itself. So I think we might actually get something there. We'll see. We'll definitely check it out. There we are. It's taken us two hours to get here and it's a little over two miles, so it's slow going. It's work. Yeah, it's a lot like work. This is the summit area. Actually that right there is the cairn for East Osceola. And we had no view coming up on the little spur that goes off to the side. But now look at the sky, it's so, so clear right there. So maybe on the way back, we still have to go over to Osceola and come back. So we've got lots of time to 
can see the trail is not broken. And I don't know, I think the snow depth varies between like as little as two inches where it was really heavily wooded on some of the steep stuff to over a foot. Yeah, a foot, foot deep. Yeah, that, that last place. little, the really steep part right before the view it was like two foot drift that, that was terrible climbing up that. Okay, so it looks like it's still cloudy as we head over to Osceola. So I don't know if we'll get any views out. There's a couple little pop out views looking into the Pema, Pemi wilderness over towards uh, Lafayette and Franconia Ridge and Hancock's and stuff. I don't think we're gonna get that, but who knows, maybe we'll be surprised. So this is looking off trail as we're leaving East Osceola. You might be able to see those huge divots in there. Some hiker came through here. Yeah, it looks like a person actually but bigger, <laughs> I would say. Nah, eh, maybe same size. It's not a moose, it's a bear. So there's across the trail right here. And just tore through over there. They're still active, man. I don't know when they're gonna hibernate. It feels like I've seen so many more bear tracks this year than any other year. Right. That's kind of the first real tracks we've seen. I yeah. think I saw a, a uh, pine marten track, one, one pine marten. That's it. And a bunch of little mice and stuff like that. Okay. We are at the chimney area now. And there's, look at that beautiful blue sky. We're not going to climb the chimney today. So we're going to take the bypass. You have to walk up a bit. And you can see, maybe... It's pretty deep right here. Okay, so, oh, climb. Whoa. Now, I believe the bypass to the bypass goes up in that way around. And the bypass, oh, jeez. Man. You think this is the first uphill you did? Oh, I know. He's going to go right up there. If I were wearing spikes, I would give the chimney a try going up, not down, but I'm not wearing spikes, so. Don't wanna switch out now. I'm not switching out. I'm gonna turn this off and use two hands and poles. Okay, here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> I just attempted the bypass, <clears throat> excuse me, and I could not get up it in snowshoes. If I had spikes on, I could. I really don't wanna change out though. So I'm going to be taking the bypass to the bypass, which is straight ahead right here and up around. And John is going to climb, he thinks. It was a disaster for me. Just reach that one there. I know. If only you were. All right, let's see him go. I mean, he's going to have to wait for me anyway. <laughs> Oh, you're good. Once you get up that, you'll be okay. Sorry. Once you get up that, you'll be okay. Okay. Well, I can't, I just can't get up there. I had to kneel in the snow. Yep. All right. He's good. Laura's making it up her way up the bypass to the bypass. It's a bit easier to do. I should just right there. If you can. Can you do it without me? I can't can't really go back there very easily. Yeah, I go around then. I've done this before one time. So you know it can be done. Do you want to try to climb up to where I am? Do you want to try to cut up to where I am? Yeah. Okay. You're going to have to haul yourself up with those trees. Man. If only you had your ice axe. Yeah. 
Somebody cut this blow down right here. Yeah. So that tells me. That's why. That it's a root. Yep, somebody intends to go through there. The problem is snowshoes make it a little tricky. Yes. Just make sure you have good hand holds. Look at that. You did it. Don't jinx me, I'm not done yet. Uh. I think I'm gonna go down that way. Really? I was thinking I was gonna go down. <laughs> Are, you Are you serious? It's, uh, it's super slippery there. You're gonna, if you go that way, you're gonna you definitely on your slide. Butt. I don't wanna sit on my butt there. Yeah, I know. There's lots of rock. Okay. I think the other time though, I cut all this, like it went over. Uh, the yeah. But this is a better way. Yeah. Okay, we'll sign off. Nice work. We are up on the summit, well, summit area, the outlook area on Osceola. And I don't know if you can tell, there's a b bunch of prints right there in front of those trees. And then right here, those are all snowshoe hair. Didn't see anything until we were coming up right here. You can see our snowshoe prints and then the hair on the left. Um, and then over here, you would have a view of the presidential's way off in the distance. This little point in the middle is where the um, chimney area is, I think. Or might now, actually, this, it's the part in the middle right now down here is the chimney. And then over here is East Osceola. And we would have a view to the Tri Pyramids, which we don't have, and the ski area for Tecumseh and Waterville Valley. But as you can see, there's a cloud down there. Okay. I think the summit is actually back a little bit, so we're gonna walk back there just to make it official and then head back. We are finished and now we're walking back to the car. It took us like six and a half hours to do just about seven miles, so it was really slow going, but it's done. If anyone wants the Osceolas, they're broken out. Uh, very, very, very little in the way of views today, but it was really beautiful and not overly cold. It was cold, but it wasn't windy, so that's nice. Now we're going back to the ski area where we're parked. There's a car. Okay, so hopefully right around the corner our car. It's not a ski area, it's a it's a cross-country ski trail. I see, I see our car, yes. Success.